Good morning, grade 9. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we are going to start a new unit. It's unit uh, 9. Histories, mysteries. Histories, mysteries. This unit is found in your student book, page uh, 110. So, this unit is found in your student book, page 110. <clears throat> this unit is really exciting because it discusses um history it talks about past events it talks about uh, nations it talks about countries it talks about um politicians uh, it talks about how does a country become popular uh, developed and improved um as you can see from the title if you if we want to discuss it together history mystery as you can see those two words rhyme together history mystery like t um, tank and bank, okay, history, mystery. Now, let's look at history by itself. What does history mean? History is basically a narrative. Uh, it's like when you tell the past events, when you tell the past events, okay? For example, such as the sink of the Titanic. Here you are talking about a past event, and um, these events have to be objective. Yani, uh, they have to be real. They have uh, to be uh, found actually in the past. Now, mystery, it means when you talk about uh, events from history and those events actually have not been explained. Mystery. In had al hadith al in the past, people still have like. Um, uh, they still doubt. They have doubts about it. Yani the truth is not clear for them about this past event. So it's a mystery for them. They still don't know what is the closure or they still don't know what is the answer to this event. Why does this event happen? Okay. Uh, it has so many stories, but basically the objective story is still mystery is still a mystery for the public, for the people. <clears throat> so this is the meaning of history, mystery. You are talking about past events, and these past events are still um, not found yet, or uh, people still don't have any clear explanation for them. Where does this um, uh, title come from? It comes from actually a television series, television series. It's called History Mystery. Okay. Hala, had the television series can be found on the channel History Channel, and it actually uh, talks about historical events. Okay. And these events are, um, the general public think that uh, these events are mysterious. Mysterious. They don't have a clear answer for them. فمن من ال من ال channel جبنا ال title of this unit history mystery طبعا كان عبارة عن 154 episode وبكل episode كانوا يعرضوا historical event وهذا ال event كان actually mysterious لل people for the public وبرضو كان يعرض أشياء مثل mythology folklore supernatural supernatural things صارت بالماضي بالهيستوري و people still don't have any clear explanation for them okay after we uh, talked about the uh, title of the unit let's move now to the vocabulary the first kind of vocabulary is to talk about nations nations countries okay things that you can find in a country or principal issues or principal uh, steps for any country to be uh, developed and improved. بكل country رح نلاقي capital city رح نلاقي flag بكل country فيها a national anthem بكل country فيها president أو king بكل country فيها prime minister uh, بكل country في إلها currency uh, flag اللي خاص فيها. Fine. Now, uh, according to these um, vocabulary, actually I made a worksheet for you and I'm going to send it um, uh, 
uh, via WhatsApp for uh, for the students on uh, the group. Hello. Let's look at a capital city. What is the meaning of capital city? It's obviously that a capital city is the main city in the country, such as Amman, okay, London, uh, Washington, D.C. Hadola are called capital city. We call them capital city because all the official residence, the workplace, the governmental issues, the NPCs, إيش كمان ممكن نلاقي بالكابيتال سيتي المينستري كلها موجودة بالكابيتال سيتي and that's why we call it capital city capital it's the biggest city the most important city in the country so our capital city is basically عمان now let's move to currency currency is picture B currency is picture B okay now, picture B is all about money. It's the money that is used in a country. Currency is the money that is used in a country. So what is our currency here in Jordan? What is our currency? Dinar, exactly. What is the currency in America? Dollar. What is the currency in United Kingdom? Pound. Okay, so it's the money that is used in any country. And here is the meaning of currency, as you can see. Currency is the money used in a country. The money used in a country. And if you want to travel from one country to another, you need actually to exchange, exchange your currency. يعني, you exchange the currency, for example, from uh, uh, real Saudi to a uh, dollar. Okay, you exchange the money because in any country you should use their own currency. The money that is used in a country and the picture of currency is B. All right, <clears throat> I want you to know also the meaning of flag. Flag. Flag is basically the symbol of a country. Each country has its own flag. Wadli flag is a symbol for this country. Okay, it's, it talks about its history and its culture as well as its uh, civilization. For example, the Jordanian flag has three colors, black, white, green, and red, and there is a star in the middle of the triangle. So you basically um, can describe your own flag. Okay. Here we have a picture of flag, as you can see here, C is the American flag, okay, this is a flag, picture C. And here is also a Chinese flag and American flag, so flag is picture C, it represents the history, the nation of the country. It has its own meaning. It has its own symbols. Okay. Let's move to uh, national anthem. National anthem. Uh, national anthem is a song, a song that a country uses to express national identity. It's a song that a country uses to express its national identity the Jordanian national anthem you all know it you all memorize it and basically it expresses uh, our national identity look here in the morning assembly for example Tabur al-Sabahi each student has to um, utter or they have to sing the national anthem for their country and here, Bardo in picture C, as you look at the footballer, what do they do? They actually sing the national anthem for their country. They sing the national anthem for their country. It has very strong and powerful words to express their identity, to express their love and loyalty to their country. National anthem. هو النشيد الوطني للcountry. Okay. In in some countries, okay, we have the 
ruler of course ruler of a country and this ruler can be king or president now what is the difference between king and president let's take each one alone هلا king or queen طبعا his wife actually it, he is the male ruler of a country the male ruler ruler الحاكم okay especially who inherits the position by right birth يعني for example any king okay when he dies he is going to inherit this position this kingdom for his son right so he inherits the position by birth because he is the son of this king and the son of this queen he is going to be the king in the future so jordanian is a kingdom او ممكن نقول انها انها it's a monarchy ليه لان النظام الحكم فيها وراثي inherit the position by right birth we have king we have queen and their children are called prince and princes prince and princes and when they die the king or the queen their uh, kids or their children the prince and the princes will inherit their position this is the meaning of king and queen nizam al hukum is ملكي بالوراثة okay. such as the kingdom of Jordan the kingdom of Jordan now we have president هلأ the president he is also the ruler of the country but he is chosen by the public يعني he doesn't inherit the position by right birth but people actually chooses him بيعملوا election انتخابات and they vote this person to be the ruler of the republic وطبعا ال king وال queen they, be, they still uh, the uh, ruler of this country until they die okay for life بينما ال president لا الحكم تبعه بيكون very short او ممكن يكون for four years او five years وبعد هدول ال four وال five years بيجي president تاني and he is actually chosen by the public he is chosen by the public بيعملوا election and the people of this country choose him to be their ruler each five years بيكون في عنا election وبالتالي هدول ال people ال public they choose him um, to be the king uh, sorry to be the ruler of the republic such as USA, the United States of America and her president يعني if you remember uh, خلينا نبلش من باراك أوباما he was the president and then um, his residential is finished وبعدين إجا دونالد ترامب for five years and then after five years another uh, president will rule the republic Republic نظام الحكم الجمهوري الجمهور ال public هم اللي they decide who's going to be their ruler we have prime minister prime minister هلا ال prime minister موجود بال kingdom وموجود بال republic okay what is his job هلا ال prime minister is the head of a uh, the head of a government the head of a government who is the prime minister in Jordan Amr Rezaz Amr Rezaz is the head of a government he is the prime minister بيكون في حواليه ministers وهو ال prime the head of them طبعا مين اللي كلفه بهاي ال responsibilities His Majesty the King الملك هو اللي بشكل رئاسة الوزراء Actually we need Miss Inam here to explain some definitions for us, right? بس أنا I'm doing good, right? <laughs> okay, so the Prime Minister is the head of a government The head of a government وبرضه uh, ال Prime Minister 
uh, he has actually a uh, time four years or five years and then after this uh, the king will choose another prime minister in order to be the head of the government okay let's match the pictures again with the definitions we have capital city this is uh, picture a this is the capital city i think this is the white house in uh, washington dc the white house okay currency money which is used in a country picture b flag a symbol for a country c and basically it uh, represents the country its national identity and culture we have king, queen, prince and princess. طبعا هدول بيكونوا بال kingdom أو المانركي. ونظام الحكم is inherited uh, from the king to the prince and then to his uh, children. And they actually rule the country by life. Okay, يعني forever until they die. We have also president. President is chosen by the people, by the public. And uh, he is not inherited the position by birth, but he is chosen by the public. People chooses him. Uh, people choose him to be their ruler, president. We also talked about a national anthem. It is actually the song that um, we sing in morning assemblies, in uh, football matches. Uh, it also discusses or expresses our national identity we talked about prime minister and we said that prime minister can be found in the republic and in the kingdom and he is the head of a government here we have some notes if you want actually to copy them they are related to the uh, title of the uh, unit history mystery thank you so much we will continue inshallah tomorrow